And today I'm going to welcome you to the future. That's right, we have a smart lock. This is a door lock that you can put on your front door, back door, side door, garage door, any entry door into your house. And what does it do for you? It gives you multiple ways to enter. You can use a fingerprint, you can use a code, you can use a key. It offers a normally open function. So just a lot to choose from and it's supposed to be very easy to install. So what I'm gonna do is let's just go ahead, open it up, see what's in the box. We're gonna install it on my little fake door here because it's much easier for me to display to you how to install this here than sitting in my front door with it open and closed with poor lighting and all that good stuff. So we're gonna install it on here and then we're gonna go over the functions and show you how it works. Let's open it up. Alrighty, you have a customer thank you card. You have a full manual with colors. How cool is that? Oh, we got a mystery box. You know I love mystery boxes, which just means accessories. You have some screws with a little screwdriver, more screws, plates, the actual bolt lock itself, the bolt that goes through, all the parts you need to install this lock. And then see, oh, look at these keys. How cool are these, right? It's kind of futuristic looking. The QC card. And this is the actual lock itself. And how nice is this? Check out this satin black finish. Very, very modern looking. Has the nice grippy hand grip. It's not just a little knob. This is gonna be the interior side. That's gonna be your lock and unlock button, I think. We'll find out for sure here shortly. And then this is gonna be your exterior side. Now you may be wondering, do I have to run power to this thing? I mean, it is you know smart and it unlocks itself and blah, 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 right? No, you don't have to run power. It runs on four AAA batteries and those batteries will last you a full year. Check out this. This is actually gonna be your touch screen where you can put in your keypad. You'll have your fingerprint scanner right here. You can put your key in the end right here. And these locks, you can see there's a little USB port right here on the end. If this was to die, say you were on vacation for two weeks and the battery dies in this, you need to get in your house. You just plug a power bank in right there. Boop, you're in or just have the key with you. No problem. Now that we've seen everything that we're gonna get, let's go ahead and install it on our door. The first step is you're gonna have your little lock latch itself. Got this protective rubber plastic coating on the front. You just wanna peel that off just to keep that nice brushed nickel from getting all scratched up. And that's just going to simply insert into your door. Now you have a rounded side and a flat side. The rounded side goes towards the way the door closes, meaning this is gonna hit your striker plate to force it shut and to lock. So just remember that. And the first thing we're gonna do, get our screws out. It comes with everything you need to install this. And we're just going to simply screw in our latch. I'm gonna try to do this without instructions because I have done a couple of these before. This was sent to me to review for you but I'm not gonna tell you if it's perfect, awesome, great, or whatever. I'm simply gonna display to you how good it is, and you can decide if it's going to fulfill your purpose. And just like that, step one is done. Now, you, if you don't have a silver striker plate on your wall or on, or on your doors, you can replace it with this one, and it will match the current one that you're using. All right, so we've got a little bunch of parts here. Dump all these screws and pieces out. Now I can already can tell you that this little square tube, this is the part that actually opens the door. This is the part that will twist to make that latch draw back. We know that's gonna go in there. And then you're gonna have these little standoffs. Looks like they give you two different sizes based on how thick your door is, but you're gonna take the little brass standoffs and you're gonna just screw them onto these little lugs right here. They do have a flat end on top, so you can take a small wrench or a pair of pliers and tighten these down. This is your front door and the security of your home. Make sure everything is tight, please. Okay, so now that we have that done, this is going to be the outside because that's the way the doors swing. So this piece is gonna have to go on the outside. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna guide your wire through this center tube. So we'll just pull it out, make it easy, just like that. And now we're just going to take it and we're gonna put the wire through the little square hole in the middle and just slide it in like so. You can see 
on this side it's in and this is what it's going to look like on the inside okay so now that we have that done okay so what we're going to do now is you have a little phillips head screw here in the end of the handle that's on the interior side we're just going to take that screw out you can also use the one that they provided you and this is going to be your battery cover and you can see this is where your batteries go so you will have to provide your own AAA batteries. And we're gonna put four of them in here to provide power to this unit. Now we have our batteries in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the handle before we put the batteries back in, and we're gonna slide the wire through the center, just like so. And that's gonna go on just like this. Okay, so once we've reached this point, we're gonna take the provided longer black screws, and we're gonna just go in right here you have two holes and that's going to screw your door handle in place and i'm just going to use a little cheater one to get the screws in and then once i get them in then i'm going to switch over to the big one just to put a little bit more torque onto it and to get the second one in i'm actually having to hold the door open or hold the latch down just to get this screw going so we have that one tight i'm just going to pull the handle down go ahead and tighten this one the rest of the way and just that quick we already have a fun functioning doorknob. So now what we have to do is we're gonna reinstall the battery cover here. And you're gonna have this little tiny wire and right here at the top you got a little tiny connector. And we're just gonna plug the wire into the board. And if you notice, there's a little bit, if you can see that, there's a little bit of red paint on the connector on the board and on the connector from the wire, they also have red paint on this side. So you just wanna make sure the red paint is up on both sides so you don't plug this in backwards. And we have power. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna tuck this wire in here. You're gonna hook this in first to the front and all the electronics are gonna be on the inside of your house. So you don't have to worry about that to where criminals can just simply take all this apart for you. You'll have to get in the house to mess with the batteries and the circuit board and it'll also stay nice and dry and just like that we are fully installed so what we're going to do is we're going to push the button right here this is your manual control for inside for locking and unlocking so i'm going to just hold it down and you can see this this is the outside unlocked it says unlocked so now you can see the latch is moving anybody can walk in your door is not secure you're going to bed at night It's now locked, and look at that. No movement whatsoever, door is locked. How cool is that? You have a nice lit up display, so whenever you are punching in your code, you can see it at night or in low light situations. And this also has, has what they call an anti-peep function. I know it was wrong. But it has an anti-peep function, and what that is is, say if your code and I haven't set a code up on here yet, but say if your code was four, five, six, seven, and you're afraid somebody's watching or you have a guest coming with you, well, you could put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and as long as the center part of that code is correct, it's going to open the door. So it allows you to put some phantom numbers in the front and the back just to confuse anybody who may be watching you. Because they're going to see you enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but really the code is just four, five, six, seven. So that's a very nice feature to have. Now we do know that the door is locked. Here's your key. Your key would just simply slide in the end of the handle, just like so. Turn it and you have access. So it's nice to have the old modern or the, the old fashioned key there to uh, get you out of a pinch. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set up a password on this. I'm gonna set up my thumbprint. We're gonna see how easy or how hard it may be. I've installed a couple of these and this is by, oops, I touched the keypad. But this is by far the easiest smart lock I have ever installed. And I have messed with quite a few of them. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add a fingerprint. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. This is not app controlled. Everything is done right here. So there's no pesky app that you have to install on your phone. That is a plus to me. I'm gonna try to do this backwards so you can see what I'm doing, but we're just gonna touch it to wake it up. And then we're gonna enter one plus pound. Press the sensor with any fingerprint. You gotta do it five times. 
So we did it five times and we should be good to go. Like right now the door is locked. You can see it's not opening. I'm gonna put my fingerprint there and we have access. So just that easy to add a fingerprint and now it locked back. So it only takes, let's see if I unlock it again. It's unlocked, we walked in the door. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and it locked it back. And now because I was the first one who used my fingerprint, I'm like the admin for this lock. So when I want to go enter a numeric password, I have to unlock it with my fingerprint first. So please check administrator. Please add fingerprint or password. Let's enter a password. And then you hit pound to confirm. You gotta enter your password again. I'm just doing one through six. Operation successful. And just like that, now we have a password. So say if we come in, we want again, we hit, like right now the door is locked. You hit one, two, three, four, five, six, pound. And you have access. So how cool is that? Okay, and so one other feature that you need to know of, if for some reason you need to reset it and delete the users that are on there, say, you kick somebody out of the house, you can just hold this button for five seconds. Initialization successful. And you have officially reset your lock. And it's back to where any fingerprint will unlock it and you have to go through the steps. The first person be the administrator and then you can add passwords after that. So very easy to install. I was quite impressed with how fast it went. No app required. You can set it up all right here, built in with very little effort. You get keys, you can get in through a thumbprint, you can get in through a keypad. I mean, it's just a very complete block, not to mention the beautiful black satin finish with the modern looking keypad and just a very nice lock to make your home a little bit smarter. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.